Hi, and welcome to The Secret Life of Parkinson's. My name is Jessica Krauser, and I'm here with Brian Baker. Hello. Hello. And today, Brian and I are going to talk about how to work when you have Parkinson's. So yes. we both currently work. Yes, we do. Right. How is it working out for you? <laughs> it is doing, it is, it, it, it has its challenges, uh -huh. but you know, overall it's, I think working for people that understand uh, or being able to, people that you trust enough to explain that you have Parkinson's helps for me. Um, so if you were thinking, if you were talking to somebody who is newly diagnosed and they're young onset like us, um, or anybody, I guess, who's still in the workforce, what's like the first, what's the main thing that you would tell them? It's a personal decision, but I have been very upfront and honest with every employer I've had because mm -hmm. I want them to understand that I'm going to move a little slower. I'm going to type a little slower. Um, you know, I, there's, I need to double check and triple check my writing because sometimes I just plug in a random letter or word, mm -hmm. you know, or yeah. don't have, I'm missing half the letters in a word that, that I typed incorrectly, but I didn't hit the button you know yeah so, solid enough or i didn't hit the space bar so uh i i'm i've always been very upfront and honest with pete with my employers but that's a personal decision did you change anything about your work um environment or the workplace to accommodate for your uh, need i have i mean i have not now i luckily enough work from home mm -hmm. permanently and i did that um i didn't when i first got diagnosed i went into the office but I've changed companies a couple of times. The last couple of companies I've worked remote from home. So that, that has been a good environment for me because I don't have somebody standing over my shoulder like, why are you typing so slow? Why are you mm -hmm. moving so slow? Those questions. Mm -hmm. um, and I literally had somebody do that one time at an office. They're like, could you look something up for me? And I was trying to look it up for her. And she's like, why are you typing like that? What's going on with you? What? I don't understand. Why. And she, and I said, I've got some medical things mm -hmm. going on. And she wouldn't let it go. Mm -hmm. And finally, I just looked at her and go, I have Parkinson's. And she's like, and she didn't know. She, then she was really apologetic. You're like, leave me alone. Yeah, she was really apologetic. And the the lady that sat beside me overheard what was going on. She knew I had, you know, mm -hmm. and she was like, she just didn't get the hint. Like, she kept being yeah. polite about it. And finally, I just dropped the bomb on her. And then she's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I'm like, no, you didn't know. And you don't have a reason, no, other than mm -hmm. you being so rude mm -hmm. that I had to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually... Um, I was up front with work as well, and I know a lot of people aren't. And, and I, you know, I totally appreciate in you know certain situations like why people don't want to. But again, it was the best thing for me at the time to talk about it, especially because I was going to so many doctors' appointments, and and I wanted to adjust my schedule. So what works for me, like how I work well with having a job and having Parkinson's, is I changed my schedule. Like even in the beginning, I asked, you know, can I have like on Wednesdays and Fridays or something just come to work at you know a little bit later in the day so that I can exercise in the morning because most of the workouts are not later in the day but they're right. they're not at you know 7 a.m. or right. whatever and then, and then having kids on top of that doesn't make it any easier because then you're having to do sports or do school you're right yeah, and it just like I said, sometimes you just get worn down where you just phys you, you got to plug yeah plug away, and then that's the thing I think with the Parkinson's. But people don't understand it. You know, it's it's an ongoing battle. It never stops. Mm -hmm. You're, you know, every day is something different. You're constantly adjusting. Yeah. Did you when you changed jobs? Were you going for something that was less? Like, do you ever think of things that are just so that it's less stress on you? Yeah, I mean, I I have had very stressful jobs, and I found like the one I'm currently at. I have a sub understanding, supportive group that I work with. Mm -hmm. I enjoy working with the, with the company. I enjoy what I do, um, and I have not had that overwhelming, continual stress. You know, there it's 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 works. So there's always stress, but mm -hmm. not the constant you know bombardment uh, that I've had previously. So, do you manage people? I do not, and okay. I have. They asked me this past year if I was interested, in it, and I said no. I was like, yeah. I just uh, it's something I just don't think I want to take on right now. So that's that's actually the one thing that I gave up last year. Is you know, I managed a team. I started a department at the company I'm at. You know, I started the marketing department there. I 
grew a team and they're great employees like you know loved my team but it's still you're you're in you're responsible for their progression and their you know uh, exceeding their expectations you know so they can kind of move in their career and it's like having that stress on top of right. your own job and things like that i'm like i just it was really difficult for me to manage other people while i'm trying to manage myself yeah and we've talked about some of the tools you can use too in the past too we've talked about the the mouse from yeah. the, from the the roller mouse um we've got a pen that's a little fatter that's a little easier to grip here and then we've got like a weighted pen that helps mm-hmm. too with the with the writing so there's those things there's you know talk to tech software that can help you in the workplace um, what is it? Talk to text software. Oh, talk to text. Yeah. Oh, so, my kids make me do that. Yeah. Um, you know, I know a couple people that have gone to that, um, and they enjoy that aspect of it. I would be afraid of what it might pick up <laughs> in, in the background. <laughs> yeah. But you know, so that there's the there's a lot of tools out there that that can help your help you in your job. Like I said, if you yeah. if you need them. And I think too, I think just the bottom line is, you, you know, uh, like I'm actually going to quote Melissa, "You do you," but you have to you have to be you know your own advocate when you're with your doctor but you have to be your own advocate and take care of yourself right. because you know at the end of the day as like you know debbie downer as it sounds it's, things are not going to get better so if this is this is the best i'm going to be right now in my life because like next year it's not going to be the same um why wouldn't i want to adjust my current situation to make sure that i'm living getting the, the most out of my life that i want right now yeah and like i said it, it's it's a challenge having a, a good company uh, i would make sure that everybody understands what they're entitled to from the hr perspective mm-hmm. so maybe meet with the hr person or somebody in hr to find out what yeah. what your protections are there as well yeah what your prote- protections are what your benefits potentially could be um is all really important to look at because um, we still have a long road ahead of us with yes. being young onset this retirement is still far, far away. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we'll get there someday. Um, so in our last 30 seconds, I'll leave you with this. Like I said, with what Melissa says to us all the time, you do you. If talking to your uh, employer, talking to people at work is going to be a benefit to you so that you feel more comfortable, feel less stress, then I urge you to do it. Brian and I both did, and it was uh, a huge help to both of us. But Again, everybody in every situation is different. So as long as it's something that you want to move forward with, uh, I highly recommend trying to do it. It made us feel good in the end and hopefully it'll make you feel good as well. Thanks for tuning in.